Well, 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 I smell someone who said Ruby is fucking dead. And you're absolutely wrong. Let me tell you why. Now I know you might be thinking, Ruby, that's like so last century. But let me tell you, this language is far from dead. In fact, it's alive and kicking. Ruby has a devoted community of fat ass developers who are constantly breathing new life into it. It's a versatile language that is used for all kinds of sexy stuff, like building websites, analyzing data, and even controlling grow pots. Sure, some people might try to parry Ruby and say it's on its way out, but as as far as I'm concerned, this language is as durable as a cockroach in a nuclear winter. It's going to be around for a long long time. But should you learn it? First, let's see an example of fetching data from an API. First, import the necessary libraries. Then create a variable that holds the API endpoint. Then create the resource uniform identifier and pass in the URL. Then store your response in a variable called response. Then parse the response. And print the data using the puts method. And that's how you fetch data in Ruby. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you like it. Now, back to the main point, should you learn it? Well, it depends on your personal goals and interest as a programmer, or should I say coder. With that being said, it's important to keep in mind that no single programming language is the best fit for every situation. You should choose the language that is most appropriate for the task at hand, taking into consideration factors such as the language syntax, performance, and community support. In summary, if you are interested in learning Ruby and think it would be a good fit for your goals and interests as a programmer, then by all means just f do it. And if you want to know what happens when you mess with ChatGPT, check out this video right here and I'll see you in the next one.